Greetings, everyone. Welcome. I am your host, Joan of Angels, and you are with me in my Desert Heart Sanctuary, where I paint divine beings, celestial beings, angels, portals, vortexes, all the different ways that one can use to take a pathway to miracles, a pathway to heaven. So I am Joan of Angels, and formerly known as actually Dr. Joan Hangarter, a healer who worked with many people, helping them align to health, wealth, and happiness. And what I do at this moment is I've been painting angelic beings because four years ago, I was told to paint 33 angels in 30 days. My guides told me to do that, and I listened because I was in a position where I just knew that without, without this guidance, I don't know what would have happened. I don't know if any of you have ever been there, but that was where I was and I needed a miracle. And I got down on my hands and knees and I prayed and I said, if I can't have this miracle, then please take my life. And instead, my precious dog was sent back to me. And when he came back, he said, I'm gonna help you really re reawaken to miracles. So it's no accident that you're on this program, Awakening to Miracles, where I'm going to teach you the tools that will help you tune in to activate, awaken, accelerate, energize, magnetize, manifest, affirm. Huh. All those juicy things. Okay, so if you're game for that, you're on the right place. So as I said, what we're doing here today is I'm sharing with you in a sort of oracle training school how to use the latest new messenger deck. It's called Miracle Messages. I did have it right here. Son of a gun. Well, I'm sure I'll figure out where it is in a minute. But this is a prototype of the deck. And the deck is called Miracle Messages. They are straight from the masters of miracles themselves. And when I say that, what, what I really do mean is that as I was creating the deck and as I've been creating all these images that are part of this deck, I've been receiving messages and in guidance. And I've been instructed on how to tune in. And when we were told to create this deck, this miracle messages deck with messages from the messengers, part of the reason they wanted me to do it was because I've already taught much about miracles. My whole life has been miracle oriented. In 1998, my kids and I formed the Miracle Makers Club to help launch miracles, not just for ourselves and others. And you could replace the word miracles with Fabulous things, an amazing life, opportunities right and left, your heart's desires being manifest and happening. So the outcome of working with a miracle toolkit, working with the miracle masters, these messengers that are so excited to help you shift your consciousness into a more uplifting, higher vibra vibratory intuitive, listening to the guidance that you're receiving. And so these cards really help you do that. And this 44 day of awakening program, if you're on it, is 44 days, 44 cards, 44 different channeling, meditation, messages, instructions and teachings, all the, the different ways that spirit has for us to learn how to hear the truth ourselves how to resonate with the truth, how to align ourselves with it and know which way we're going. <clears throat> Interestingly enough, and it is kind of interesting, I had lunch with a dear friend of mine who is also an angel teacher and on the angel pathway. And we were talking and I was telling her about my history, that my entire life since I was 30, I've had this vision that I'm here to heal and inspire millions of people. And and in the conversation, I said, well, you know, I have impacted hundreds of thousands of people. And this is true. Hundreds of thousands 
not from my chiropractic office where I did touch thousands and thousands of people, their hearts, their physicalness, their families. But in the court system, I won a case against an insurance company who was wrongfully terminating my benefits. And I was awarded $5 million punitive damage award. And the case itself changed case law around the country in every federal courtroom where people are fighting to get benefits for being disabled, for, for assisting them. My case has been quoted. And not only that, but I've gone many places. And when people find out my professional name, which is Dr. Joan Hangarter, the world doesn't all know me as Joan of Angels, they go, oh my God, your case is what helped me get my disability benefits. In other words, getting insurance for when you're injured. So she, I was telling her the short version, of course, and she said, oh my God, Joan, then, you know, we need to really celebrate that you have already healed and touched and inspired hundreds of thousands of people. And so the first, and she really wanted me to really get that, get that, to feel into that, that I've already started working on my mission. And so part of today is, you know, calling all angels. The card itself is my favorite card. It's the painting, the eye of heaven. This is a card that I made out of it. It's probably going to be in one of the next Oracle decks. Calling all angels. We are gathering because you see that the angels are really lifting up towards heaven. And you can actually see it in the painting itself. And you know, guys, all of these paintings are available, either as prints or the originals. The prints hold power. The originals certainly really do hold power. Let's send this one away for a minute and let you really enjoy this. Hmm. I know, I hear it's like, well, what was she thinking? I wasn't thinking anything. I was thinking, how do I allow myself to be a paintbrush? How do I allow myself to be connected and to feel them? And the next thing you know, we were literally on this ship <laughs> taking the miracle pathway. And speaking of the miracle pathway, I also, and because so much of this training is to teach you how to use the tools, yourself, your own miracle toolkit. Like imagine that you had a belt and it had all of these tools, you know, meditation, messages, guidance, affirmations, paintings, high vibrational shamanic tools, angel wear, whatever it takes to keep you on the path. That's what's going to get you up to the eye of heaven. So as I was setting up for today's presentation, I, I use this box a lot. It's called... What is it called? Believe in miracles. Do you see that? Like I've been using this and even standing up some of the artwork on it. And I realized that I haven't even shown you this. I, I put my stuff in sacred places. I have all of my Oracle decks. Okay. And I'll show you these have Oracle decks, mine and some other people's but sacred tools, things that I want to keep special, I put in my miracle box. Do you have to buy a miracle box? Heck, you could take a shoe box and put, put uh, you know, a paper bag on it and tape it and paint all over it. Or heck, just paint all over the shoe box and paint angels on it. Or just put your favorite color on it and then write a in big letters, I believe in miracles. I'm a magnet for miracles. And then put your jewelry in there or your favorite things. It doesn't even have to be fancy. But what it does have to be is assigned. In other words, when we put our attention on something, we assign it to have a position or, or a power or a place in our spiritual devotions. And we are talking both about the miracle pathway, the pathway to angels, the pathway to listening to your guidance, pathway to listening to the voice so that you can see lit up for you like an arrow, you know, a little arrow. This was an arrow. <laughs> Can't do it with my hands, but you get the point. An arrow direct to this place that we are referring to as 
seven. Okay. Now, it doesn't really matter if you believe in God or you believe in source or you believe in a higher power. It matters that you have a belief that there's something beyond us that's working through us, but you don't necessarily have to identify it. So I'm making this distinction because we want to allow the energies that come from the highest vibration, and many people have many names for what this higher vibration is, so that I might say God, but you might say she, or source, or angel, or guides, or many gods, or Zeus. I don't know where Zeus came from today, but yes, he's considered a god. And so we have languaging that gives us a box to put something in, whatever that is you believe. And so when I started working with, with angels, they told me that I have to be outside the box and even miracles, that all these things can happen to us on our higher power path, when we choose the path of stepping into higher vibrations, into love, into kindness, into compassion, into all of those frequencies that turn us into really more of a tower of miracle power. And that's when we attract what we want. That's when we attract our mission. That's when we live, actually, that which we're attracting. And if we're asking to be of service, if we're asking to be of the highest good for all, not just for ourselves, but to be a beacon of light so that we can become miracle masters, miracle makers, so that we can become an energetic light source that maybe guides the way for others, or just in our day-to-day -day life, we're inspirational in that way, you know, to me, a spiritual path is when I walk down the street and I can hear my heart singing and I hear the plants and the birds and every person I meet is like about a smile on our faces and sharing love and it's about that good morning and it's about what can I do to lift up this person that I see who's in a wheelchair or distressed over there. I don't have to say anything. It's not like I have to get in their face and say, hi, I'm Joan of Angels. Can I help you? Because sometimes that doesn't work because we're forcing ourselves, but we can hold that intention that wherever we go today, we're representing a higher vibrational frequency and we bring that with us wherever we go. We bring that touch of heaven. We bring that touch of grace of which, which the presence of the divine gives us so that it's not us. So guys, when you are speaking words of love or kindness or advice or sharing your wisdom, instead of having an ego attachment to how it's even being received, know that it's you can be a pure channel yourself for the wisdom. And that is what we do. So we're going to do a session. I'm going to pretend you're one of my clients who comes to me or one of the groups that I work with on miracle manifesting, on stepping into our destiny, on calling forth that which we want. So I'm going to ask right now because I want all of you to kind of get the card, understand that we are going to work with the frequency of all, all who are listening now, all who will be listening in the future because this is part of the 44-day training program. You can access it on my website, Awakening to Miracles 2018, or on, a, on the YouTube channel. But we are learning how to become our own miracle maker, our own miracle magnet, how to use the tools that we have available and how to use the special gifts that we've been given. Your destiny, your mission is very different than mine. And because of that, you have a different set of skill sets. You don't need mine. I don't need yours. I need the ones that are going to help me do this. You're going to need the ones that are going to help you receive what you need 
and, and do what you're going to do with it. So the work, my work as an oracle and as a teacher and teaching you about these miracle masters is to give you the tools to meet them yourselves and to help you understand how to enhance your gifts. So if you are compassionate, if you're an intuitive, if you're an empath, if you're clairsentient, that the channels are 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 more open for you so that you start to trust the messages and the voices that you receive. So you understand what they're for. <clears throat> and it's not for me to necessarily tell you. That's why I share a bit. And then I share what Spirit is telling me to include in this particular session, which has to do with the eye of heaven. It is calling you. It is the gathering place. So what keeps us from living this spiritual truth or living in our miracle mastery? Well, several things. We might not have, we might not be ready. That's one of them. Or, as I was starting to paint with my art when I started in 2013 and 2014, I'm going, okay, you know, uh, how am I going to support myself? What am I going to do? Oh my goodness, you know, show me the way. They said to me, paint and we will come. Paint, paint, do your job. And I had to learn to trust that spirit was going to be with me, that it would unfold. And what were the messages I was receiving? It's not your time yet. You need to paint. You need to build your energy, communicate with the, with the angels, with, with miracles. Do this work, and then you'll be able to come out. Prepare, and then you'll have something to show. And so in trusting that, thank God, fall 2017, they said the deck, get the deck, do the deck. We are ready to be on cards. We are ready for the world to see us. And so that is the deck. And that is what we're using. And the name of the deck is called Miracle Messages. And where is the ch deck channeled through and by? Well, the deck's been channeled here in the sanctuary where I paint eyes to heaven, where I paint angels, where I paint pathways, where we paint everything to get there. So I know that it's in a very sacred place. I know the energy is here is high. And so I paint. They told me that it was time for them to come out. They no longer want to be in hiding in this sanctuary, which is why you see me more and more showing up and showing you pictures of the artwork, pictures of some of these fabulous paintings that are here living with me that really want to get to you. All right. Now, the first card that I pulled is known as the golden aura extra special energy surrounds you now Phew. I, I don't know about you but i can actually use extra special energy surrounding me now it would help tremendously <laughs> to get the job done so what i like to do with energy is i like to really breathe it in and receive it <clears throat> and in this painting golden or she reminds you to place around you a golden orb. In fact, if you can feel, if you can look at me and you see what I'm creating over here, I swear, I literally feel that my aura is expanding, expanding, expanding. And I'm placing a golden ball right here. And it's going further and further. And so that's a really good tool to use to practice developing your ability to receive messages and be a beacon of light. Because as we continue, and we have something like 13 more cards after today to discuss, but what is the goal? The goal is for us to create and become towers of miracle powers, to step on the miracle pathway so we can launch the miracles, the launch the, the missions that we came. You know, another word for miracle, when you are living your mission, when you are living your mastery, when you are doing what you came here to do, those are things that feel miraculous because you show up in the right timing, the right place. The doors open wide because now they're ready to receive you. Not like when we're going out where, you know, 
I need to do this. I need to do this. This is the way it's going to happen. And they give us little angel slaps that says, no, slow down. We're in charge. We'll let you know, which always works better because divine timing comes from above where they see all aspects, you know, in this eye of heaven, you notice that they can see what's going on down below. And so always having a new perspective and more miracle, miracle one. It's like, what is, you know, and, and, and the next step of this would be like, what is your miracle? Now I know for me, the outcome, the miracle outcomes I am manifesting. And I will share them with you, all right? I am here to heal and inspire, not just one, not just 10 millions of people on the planet. And I know that I've been in training for this for 68 years. 68 years, my guides and myself have put me through very extreme training. So I have learned to become resilient. I've learned to put my big picture sometimes in front of the day-to-day -day picture so that I can see where I'm going and have and get checkpoints and actually narrow my focus so that in the end I was able to hear that message that said paint 33 angels in 30 days. In other words, <clears throat> how old was I then? 64. I was prepared to hear it. it took me 64 years to hear it to open to hear it. Now, is it going to take you 64 years? No, because the miracle messages, the masters are coming through and they have these toolkits and you don't have to recreate the wheel. The wheel's been created and you can just listen, step on, find what you resonate to, expand your training, master your own gifts and really hone in on this is what am I here to do? What is my miracle? Now, your miracle isn't my miracle is to have enough money to pay my rent. That's part of maybe the miracle. But the miracle is what is what am I here to do that? What is what is that resonance or, you know, the miracle is in being aligned to live our life, even if we're ill, it's in learning then the reason that why have we manifested this illness? What is out of alignment in our life? The miracle is in learning how to step into alignment for the healing and to understand who we are that will come through as we have the courage to do that healing. So these miracle messages inspire for each of us our ability and they give us extra energy. So this card says extra special energy surrounds you now and is assisting in your transformation. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. Thank goodness. All right. So energize with it. Feel that golden orb and then take it through your body. And I like to just really feel myself expanding like being sunshine. I like being sunshine. I'd rather be sunshine than dark shine, you know, like, like using our, our choices. So I also am so grateful that all of you are here with me in the sanctuary. As I said, my guides have said, Joan, this is 2018. Not only is it a time to teach awakening to miracles, to bring this work out, to bring the toolkit out, to bring the miracle messengers, these masters of miracles so you can meet them and to help us really lift up into miracle thinking so that we can step into our destiny fully, so that we can be empowered to do our work and courageously come out and spread our wings and feel that energy of the divine around us so that we know that every word we speak comes from the divine because we're becoming that channel. So, yes, I, these, this training is about helping you to become that channel for yourself or for others. Okay. It's really about you learning how to be that intuitive for yourself. So you understand the messages. Yesterday I was driving two crows passed right in front of me. Actually, they were ravens. Well, I, I think they're the same. They come because there's messages you, from to you from spirit and time to listen. 
It's like paying attention to the messages and the synchronicity. So golden aura is one of the messages for us today. The second card is the angel of love. All right. So how do we go about doing it today? We fluff our wings. All right. We fluff our wings and we step in, as I've been teaching on some of the other trainings, we feel our roots in the earth, we feel our, our cords up in heaven, and we breathe, and we fluff. And the third card, the outcome card, what does it lead us to? Heaven's path. Your way is clear. We've removed all the obstacles. Time to move forward and follow the signs. Now, isn't that what I was talking about, that the signs start to show up? And that is the miracle. So, guys, I'm so grateful that you're here. These 44 days of awakening to miracles, let me explain that a little bit. What that is, you can go to the website, Awakening to Miracles 2018.com, and sign up to get the free daily cards and their messages to kind of lift you into that to help you. You could get the deck. You could sign up for any of the events. You can send me questions, anything. And you could sign up and book a private consultation. What's a private consultation with me? That is a miracle activation, soul activation session where we look at what you came here to do. What's in the way? What are the lessons you've had to learn? We turn them into fuel for your journey. And we get so excited about how these lessons have strengthened you so that now you can start to fluff your wings and we really share what your gifts are and how to begin to manifest them in the world. People report extraordinary breakthroughs in these sessions, by the way. So they're very exciting. So we're, we're to the end of today's session. I've really appreciated sharing with you from the eye of heaven. Really Good card. I love this eye of heaven. I think I'll put it right up here for you again, just to give you a little inspiration. And our reading for the day was quite clear, just to refresh your memory. Even if I wasn't with you reading it, golden aura, you're being lit up, you're being helped, lighting your fire from the inside out. Use your imagination. And suddenly the angel of love will come to you, fluffing your wings removing centuries of grime so that you can step into heaven's path. You got to wonder where I could have put the card, right? It's not like I've moved away. Here you go. Heaven's path. Stepping clearly, no more obstacles. So that's our goal today, guys. Thank you for being with me in the sanctuary and meeting the masters of miracles. They love to dance. So go out and celebrate. Card 31. Eye of Heaven, Awakening to Miracles with Joan of Angels. We love you all. See you next time.